Hi guys and welcome to another video. So in this video what we're going to be doing is showing you how to change a username uh, or SSID and password on your Vodafone router. So it's really simple, it won't take long at all. First of all what you need to do is open up your web browser, so your Internet Explorer, your Chrome, whatever you're using. And in the top bar you just need to type in this, you need to type in 192.168.1.1 and then press enter and basically what that is is that's your IP address of your router so that takes you to your login page you'll come up with your Vodafone picture your Vodafone router and your login page um, you'll notice here that mine is already pre-filled on the password box here but yours won't necessarily be um, what you need to type in there is Vodafone it's all lowercase um, and just Vodafone all one word um, look out because Vodafone is spelled with an F on the phone not PH as well um, so then you put in, uh, obviously it says it up here actually, um, put in login and then that will take you, you've, let, you've now logged into your router. So you've got a number of options up here, what we're looking for is Wi-Fi. So you click on Wi-Fi and then what you need to do is you'll need to scroll down. So uh, what we're looking to change is the SSID or the Wi-Fi name, username, whatever you want to call it. So this is basically when you look at your Wi-Fi uh, networks on your on your phone or your tablet, whatever it is, you'll see them come up, and that's the name of it that comes up. It might currently be called something like Vodafone, I don't know, one nine two or something like that. Um, so it, as you can see, I've already changed my name. It's called Homewood. And just to change that, you literally just click on the box and then delete what's in there and type in type in the new name. It's really simple. Um, I would say if you're going to put in a new name, don't put anything that's very specific to your property. Like you can put something, uh, you know, sort of generic to your area or something, but don't put something specific to your property just so people can't identify which one exactly is your uh, Wi-Fi network. Um, so, right, so that's nice and simple. So once you've changed that, uh, you can ignore all this. This stuff can all, all stay the same. It's just to do with uh, security, etc. And then to change your password, what you do is you go down below where it says Wi-Fi password. It says set password here. Just go into there and put in your new password. It will give you an indication of how strong that password is down here uh, and some guidance on exactly what your password should do. Re-enter it and then you're just going to click save. Um, I'm not going to click save because I'm not changing my password, but that's what you do. Just click save. Okay, so you've changed your password now. Um, you've put your uh, new SSID in there, but it's not actually been applied yet. So what we need to do is just scroll down to the bottom of the page and just click apply. And then what you get is a little message there that say your changes have been applied. So now your network will be broadcasting with that Wi-Fi name or your SSID and that Wi-Fi password. So what you need to do is on all your devices, like your iPads, your phones, whatever, you need to look at your Wi-Fi networks and connect to uh, that name, so that um, new name that you've put in, and then use your new password to connect to the network. Um, you have to do that with all your devices all connected on the Wi-Fi. So it can be a little bit of a pain, but you know, once once it's done, it's done. Um, so that's it. That's as simple as it is. Um, I hope you've liked the video. If you've got any questions or anything, just um, put them below. Um, and I'll, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you later.